Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here. Um, I just finished doing a comedy gig, a uh, show, uh, and um, I was on my way home. I stopped off for a second, I got a little bit of lost, and I needed to use the restroom. Uh, but now I actually found this uh, kind of like little dirt road off the highway, and I wanted to actually take this opportunity to uh, um, see if I can knock out a quick voiceover in the car. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on, um, you know, creating, um, makeshift, uh, voiceover studios or voiceover kits for when you're at, like, at a hotel or at a friend's house or, but I haven't really seen much on, um, in the car. I think I've seen two videos, two videos, and, uh, one of them was a, uh, <coughs> voice actor. Um, Mike Delgadio, um, and he was talking about using an SM58 in the car. It gets really good audio. I would say get an SM57, but he said if the SM58, and then record it in the back of your car. But I have my uh, voiceover kit with me, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to construct uh, the microphone on here, and then have my um, preamp and then pull out my iPad and I got some headphones right here and we're gonna see how good of an audio I can get um, in my truck so and uh, it's gonna be a learning experience for both of us Alrighty, and okay, uh, well, I'm not getting any, not getting any feedback on this, not at least not on the video app. Okay, so what I've done uh, is I have my Audio Technica 875R um, attached to the dashboard with one of these um, iPhone or smartphone um, holders uh, that normally attaches to like a um, uh, like a mic stand. Trying to find the one of the other pieces. Ah, here it is. It normally has this thing that actually holds the uh, the iPhone in it, um, but that unscrews right there, and I think it's like a quarter inch or something like that. Anyway, and then I can I brought a little uh, adapter that will make it where I can attach my um, uh, microphone to that clamp, and so I can just attach it to the steering wheel. I'm gonna get in a little bit closer. Roll this up a little bit. All right. So I have that attached. Now I'm getting a little bit of wind outside, so I don't know how much of this is going to be usable. Um, and so now I just have my iPad right here um, in front of me that I'm going to read the copy. So I'm going to record it onto my iPhone, which is right there, which uh, I think my iPhone actually has... Uh, I think iPhone actually uh, records... Um, uh, audio better than an iPad, even if it's even if you're using the same uh, app. Um, so anyway, I uh, got my headset. I got my uh, iPhone. Uh, there was a little bit of wind outside. It keeps happening off and on. Uh, if anything, I may have to do uh, have like a um, you know cut the low ends down to get rid of some of that noise. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Uh, let you guys listen to it. Uh, if this seems like a legit. Um, you know, uh, uh, tactic or some kind of uh, technique or a uh, setup, I guess. Um, you know, uh, and it, this benefits you guys in any way. Um, you know, uh, then good. Uh, as you could, uh, earlier I was chewing gum and I did that to try to eliminate some of the mouth noise. I chew some gum, uh, tries to get rid of all the anything that's in your mouth, any pieces, any junk. Um, it's kind of like brushing your teeth kind of, and then, and then just get rid of the gum. And then I have my, I, uh, my, uh, iRig Pro here, microphone. And, uh, and I also cranked up the AC as I was putting this all together. So it's a little cool in here. Um, you know, uh, 
you know, so hopefully it won't get too hot in here too quickly. Anyway, uh, so, um, yeah, uh, take a listen to the end result. And uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you later. Peace. So, let's say you're on the road, and you're traveling a good distance, and you need to do a voiceover, whether it's a pickup line, uh, an actual gig, or maybe it's an audition sent to you by your agent, and it's extremely time-sensitive. You can still do voiceover in your car. This is what you're listening to right now, is me, through an Audio-Technica 2020, attached to my steering wheel, um, going into an iRig Pro, which is then going into my phone, and I'm using Twisted Wave. I'm reading my copy off of my iPad, which is sitting in my lap. Now, because it's a small space, there is a lot of low-end rumble, which is a little bit tricky to work with, but it's not impossible. All I have to do is tweak the audio a little bit to try to cancel out some of that low-end, and the audio is good to go. Now, fortunately, because I'm using the 2020 it focuses more on the high end of my voice, the higher frequencies, and less on the lower end, which means I can get closer, and I'm not going to just going to be incredibly rumbly or have a lot of bass as I would if I was using my Blue Spark or, or my um, Sennheiser MKH-416. So, there you go. This is an effective um, and um, you know reasonable way of doing voiceover while you're on the road. Pull over somewhere, um, far away from the highway, I would highly suggest. Um, set up your uh, your mic, probably on your dashboard or on your steering wheel, and knock it out. Don't be afraid to experiment with your gear, and, you know, there, who knows what you'll find out. Who knows where you'll be able to do voiceover. So, anyway, thank you guys for listening, and I'll catch you later. Peace.